everybody in our family, we're all very distinct personalities, very different, all have our own little idiosyncrasies. Um, and Brock had those too. And before we knew it was autism, they were Brockisms. And now I think that, you know, he has a name for his. We don't all have a name for all the rest <laughs> of ours. One of the things that he had problems with, he's starting to struggle with in school, is just because he's autistic and he has certain issues, he's just relating to the kids in his peer group. At one point, Brock had been in a completely self-contained autism or PDD class with only five students, and he's been able to grow out of that. There's like this um, non-mainstream class, which is all for kids who have like autism and stuff, and I'm supposed to be like the um, person who talks for them with the, for the school. Ambassador. Ambassador. Since Brock's already been through fifth grade, they thought it would be a good idea for him, since he's also able to communicate relatively well, to have him show some of these children coming in with autistic diagnosis the ropes. But we've always been really excited about Brock because for us, autism wasn't, okay, that's who Brock is now. It's a part of Brock. It's a great part of Brock in a lot of ways. And from before we even got involved with CAR, Brock has always had a sensitivity to other kids who have autism and has always wanted to help and do things and encourage. And so being part of this organization was kind of a natural thing for him. And we're excited to see what he's going to do because it's going to be great. We know that. Vianne got hooked up with um, the IBIS study basically before she was even born. We found out that they were interested in siblings of kids who already have an autistic diagnosis. And of course we were on board for that. We wanted to do as much as we could. She started at six months, was her first evaluation. And then they did the MRI, which I was very nervous about because she's six months old. She did phenomenal. And what really impressed me is what We've been to CHOP millions of times with our kids, but the things that they did to make it comfortable for her. I mean, the whole setup, the bed that she's on for the MRI is, they looked at every detail to make sure she could get through it asleep and made it great for me as a parent. So it's been, it's been great. In fact, she went back for her one year. Um, she's 16 months now, and I was like, okay, well now she's a year old, so she's never gonna make it. And she slept through the whole thing. It was phenomenal. They have everything from the ears, they have her head, I mean, they every detail covered, so I didn't have to worry about that. Brock's done the uh, MEG study, mm -hmm. um, where they, they do brain imaging on, did brain imaging on him, and now he's involved with the genetic, uh, the genetic study. It came on last Friday to have his blood drawn and have them find out all about his DNA. I was asked questions so they could um, basically, uh, what's it called? Compare um, minds with autism to people without autism to see it, how they um, think differently. And at the end I played three games. One, first one was my favorite. You basically drop um, boxes with faces and then you try to get the most into each other. If you get four, it turns into a big head and then if you get six, it turns into a long big head. And you can get like three, um, a chain of three and everything. The thing we liked about his participation, I mean, the thing that's most of a benefit to us is the fact that um, we feel good that we're doing something to help, but for us as parents, the most helpful thing is that when he goes in and he has his evaluations done, we get feedback from the doctors and the staff that pertain to Brock. Mm -hmm. And then we know how, as parents, to better handle his needs, you know, and his weaknesses and what we need to uh, maybe work on a little bit more. All, those t all that type of feedback from the participation in a study that's helping everybody helps us. The amazing thing about CAR that I wasn't expecting is 
they take so much, first of all, everyone's knowledgeable. You ask a question if they don't know, which is rare, they find out for you. But they're so kind and sensitive. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Epstein, who is um, in charge of Brock's case, is phenomenal. She will sit and listen. She has helped us with, with school issues with yeah. Brock. And Gail, who is the, the um, social worker, is another, She's she always helps, has every need that we've had um, outside right of car. She has been there for us. It's just, it's a joy. And I know they go above and beyond just research. So it's been a great experience for all of us.